was right. Flying Eagles taking on Ivory Coast in the semifinals of the Waffle Zone B tournament. Winner of this match will move on to the CAF Under-20 tournament in Egypt next year. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Really important. Thank you very much. And we start with the Flying Eagles on the ball. Adams Olubi finds Ibrahim Muhammad, and he makes his way into the box, takes a shot, which is blocked out for a corner kick, which he is going to be taking himself. He puts the ball into the area, and Daniel Daga is right there after a goalkeeping mistake to head the ball into the back of the net. And the score, Flying Eagles of Nigeria won. Ivory Coast zero and as you see the goalkeeper comes out for the ball and misses it Daniel Daga is right there with his head heads the ball into the back of the net Isa Fafana the Ivorian goalkeeper definitely would not want to see that again next we have Ivory Coast on the ball Sindhu Kone receives the ball on the left wing puts a cross into the area tries to find his own Russian teammate Tio Yolu but he just barely missed it and that chance goes away. Next you have Seydu Traore finding Abdurrahmane Kunate. After a brilliant run into the box, he takes the shot. But Nathaniel Wosu was right there, got real low and made the save. Great save by Nathaniel right there. As you see, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and a beautiful save. Just a top class save by our goalkeeper right there. Nice one. Flying Eagles on the ball. Augustin Njoku, 1-2 with his teammate, takes the shot. Trying to find the far post, but it goes wide. Nice move by him and his teammate taking the shot inside the box. Just could not keep it on target, and the chance goes away. Still 1-0 in favor of the Flying Eagles, and the Flying Eagles on the ball. A great opportunity. Tolu Lokbeo Joe fumbles the ball at first asking, and when he finally got a hold of it, he just could not do enough with it. Goalkeeper makes the save, as you see, with the fumble, takes the shot. And it was blocked off the line. I apologize, not goalkeeper. And you have Ivory Coast on the ball and a foul right in front of the box by the Flying Eagles. Referee blows the whistle. And that's really a nice call by the referee. He could have easily called it a penalty, but he called it a free kick and spotted the ball outside the box. Kick taken by Seydu Traore, and all that didn't matter. He still put the ball into the back of the net. A beautiful goal by Seydu Traore, and the score, Flying Eagles of Nigeria won. Ivory Coast won. Nice goal, as you see on the replay. Just puts it in a nice spot. Goalkeeper rooted to the ground. Now, maybe he should have been a little bit to the side where the wall was not blocking, but either way, don't take anything away from Seydu Traore's beautiful free kick. A nice free kick right there to make the score one all. Moving on to the second half of the match, another chance for the Flying Eagles. This time, Adams Olubi right in front of goal, assisted by Ibrahim Mohamed, and he's blocked by an Ivorian defender right at the end. Takes the shot. You see the first pass made by Samson Lawal. Muhammad had the ball, made a great pass, and he just had the job to finish. He really should be finishing that, Adam Solubi. Next, you have Daniel Dagger receiving a throw in from his teammate, makes his way into the box after getting past two defenders, finds the pass for Ibrahim Yahaya right in front of the goal. He is, but his shot is blocked at the end of the day. Great move by Daniel Dagger to find his man inside the area. Really should be finishing that, but the defender did a great job, made the block, and kept the score at one all right there. Nice one. Next, you have T.O. Yolu receiving the ball inside the box, brings it down, takes a nice shot, and the goalkeeper makes a good save, and the defender makes a block. Great move right there by Ivory Coast, but great goalkeeper by Nathaniel Wosu. The Flying Eagles goalkeeper just was amazing on the day. Nice one right there by everybody. And this is the end of regulation, end of 90 minutes. Match goes into extra time, extra 30 minutes to play. And we start with the Flying Eagles on the ball. Augustin and Joku with a first time pass forward. Ibrahim Yahaya kills it beautifully, takes the shot, which is saved by the goalkeeper. Samson Lawal Catches the rebound perfectly, forces the goalkeeper into a save, and Ibrahim Muhammad also takes his shot, which was blocked. Nice move by the Flying Eagles, knocking on the door, but just couldn't go in. Next, you have a penalty shot for the Flying Eagles. Ibrahim Yahaya went down, seemed to go down from a goalkeeper challenge. Referee said no chance. As you see, he went for the ball, got to the ball first. I don't know if the goalkeeper got him right there, 
but the referee said he didn't, and we got to go with that. Ivory Coast on the ball, beautiful move into the box, a nice cross, and just a missed open header right there. A free header inside the box for the Ivorians. T.O. Yolu right in front of goal, misses the chance, and you have this, a penalty this time given to the Flying Eagles. Tolu Lokbeo Joe goes down from a defender's challenge. Referee points to the spot this time, and Ibrahim Yahaya had the opportunity to send the Flying Eagles to Egypt. And he made no mistakes, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way, and that made the score. Flying Eagles of Nigeria 2, Ivory Coast 1. And you could see what it meant to the team. They definitely felt like they had done enough to qualify for the tournament in Egypt. Coaches, players, and fans definitely were over the moon. But wait, there's more. Ivory Coast with a great opportunity to tie the game right at the end of the match. Player was right in front of goal. That same man, T.O. Yolu, right in front of goalkeeper Natania Nwosu, but just could not hit the ball on target. Very close shave for the Flying Eagles right there, but this was also a close shave. Handball called by the referee, and he gave out a free kick right in front of the box. As you see, the Flying Eagles players were definitely against it. And as you go back and you look at the replay right here, it doesn't look like it hit his hand. It looked like he got his hand out of the way. But Seydou Traore stepped up and put the ball way over the bar. And that's how the match ended. Flying Eagles 2, Ivory Coast 1. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.